right guys, what is up? And I'm bringing you some domination on the map interchange, I believe. I'm not even sure if that's the name of the map. I don't know why it is that I don't know the names of the maps yet, all of them. Like, I know most of them, but uh, I don't know if this is the right name for this map. Um, I remember when Black Ops first came, I had them all like memorized in the first like two days, but I don't know what it is. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It's not really a big deal, I guess. But, uh, like I said, I uh, ran the Assault Strike package, and I accidentally get a MOAB in this game, and <clears throat> it just pops up on my screen, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> you gotta love those MOABs where you get them, and you're not really expecting them, it's just like, oh, make sure, it's like a really cool feeling once you get it. Like, you have a feeling you're getting close, but it's just like, do I need another, like, five or six kills, and it's just like, suddenly you get it. It's just a cool feeling, I don't know if you guys got it yet or not, because, uh, MOABs are a little difficult to get, and, uh, um, yeah. But, what I wanted to cover today was, uh, what you guys want to see personally. I have, um, a couple MOAB gameplays, I have some good high scoring gameplays, excuse my dog for part of them, uh, hopefully you guys can hear them. But, um, tell me you guys want to see, because I've, uh, like, for gameplay wise, I've gone ahead and I bought um, some equipment and I'm getting some for Christmas to be able to do the uh, um, Road to Commander that I will be doing, guys. And a lot of you guys said that uh, I got some really good feedback on this video saying that you guys wanted to see a Road to Commander, but you weren't, like, um, extremely fond on the fact of how long it's going to take. And I understand that because um, when you guys say that uh, you want to see it and it's cool, uh, like, I understand that, but uh, the one point that was uh, a couple of you guys made that even I thought of too was the fact that it's going to take um, a long time to do, and uh, it's, you know, it can have some boring parts through it that people just might lose interest in the whole series. Um, I decided to buy some equipment so I, and some software so I can live stream and do some live commentaries um, the proper way now. So, uh, now I'll probably be able to uh, just upload a video and be like, hey guys, I'm live streaming, go ahead and stop by. But uh, this won't be for a while, probably during like the, like Christmas break I'll be doing this, so it's not for a couple more weeks. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it then or not, but um, I think that's what I'm going to go with for right now. I'm probably just going to be able to, like, uh, if you guys don't know what Twitch TV is, it's what most people live stream on. I'll probably just be live streaming on that. But uh, yeah, that's what my... Uh, I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, if you guys um, have something to say, you guys think that uh, you'd rather not want me to do that, just leave a comment or something because uh, that's what I'm gonna be going for as of right now. And uh, if my voice sounds fine, I'm using my older mic and uh, it just woke up like five minutes ago, so I kinda always sound like this. But uh, yeah. And uh, something else that I wanted to talk about was the the newest patch that came out i was under the influence that um every single kill you get well let's just let's start this off um infinity ward or tr not trainer what am i saying whoever made this game i'm not even sure we made i think it's infinity ward uh i think they did the multiplayer um they uh they decided to uh put a new patch where you know how dashboarding is a problem in Modern Warfare 3? If someone leaves the game halfway through and the game just ends without a host migration or something like that, that you get a loss for it um, towards your win-loss ratio and like your total amount of losses. And also it doesn't record the kills and deaths you got that game. Well, they fixed that, so every single kill you get, like each one, is uh, recorded. So say I get one kill and someone dashboards, I'm still going to get recorded for that one kill. Which is really cool because um, now I don't have to worry about like going like 40 and 0 and someone leaving the game and it's just not ever counting. Um, now it will always count. But I thought they fixed the problem which I was most concerned in was the fact that if someone dashboards halfway through the game that you get a loss for it. I thought that they fixed that so if someone dashboards through partway through the game that um, it doesn't record it being a loss. I don't know if they're going to give you a win for it or just not ever count the game itself. But apparently you still get losses for it and I was a little upset about that because uh, for the main reason being that I, I hate losing for the most part and um, it's true because uh, 
I'm just really not a huge fan of losing. And um, like, when I when I mean what I mean by that is like when you have a high win loss ratio. I don't know if you guys really care about it, but me personally, that's what I base myself on. I don't really play for kill death ratio. I play strictly for win loss, and I'll go negative to win the game for sure. But um. I just don't like getting those stupid losses because most of my losses are like, like they're all the uh, dashboarding and post migration losses. Which, if you base yourself upon win loss like I do, um, you know what I'm talking about and you know what's really frustrating. And I've tried not to be like a big stat whore like in my past game, like Black Ops. I was really, uh, really, really into my stats. And um, I'm trying not to do that in, as much in this game. And right here, you can see I get the assist for the Moab. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to try and not do it that much this game, um, because I find myself having a lot more fun when I can just enjoy the game. But even when I'm um, not completely serious with this game all the time, um, I still find myself getting frustrated, um, for the most part, because of the connection. Now, like I said earlier, I don't really care about my kill-death ratio that much, but if I get stupid deaths, I still get upset about it, and... I try not to, but for some reason, um, it comes back to the fact where that shouldn't have happened to me, so why did that? Why did it happen? It's because the connection's that bad, and for the most part, I want to go ahead and blame the uh, lag compensation, because I, I think they had the right idea with it, but uh, I really disliked that idea. It was probably the worst thing they could have brought into this game, in my personal opinion. But uh, some people like it because they have bad connections already, and... A light compensator is that everyone tries to have around the same connection, but it brings the other people with good connections down. And I think that's what I'm having a hard time getting used to in this game. But uh, I guess the more I play it, and like I, I'm playing a lot, but I guess the more I play I'm going to get used to it. But anyways guys, this game's wrapping up. Moab 49-2. Peace.